All right, hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Osteoblast as part of our indie game lightning round and <laughs> multiple events, I guess, because there's also the Steam Winter Games Festival where they have a whole bunch of demos for us to check out, and we try and play as many of them as possible. This is a RPG made by Munana, the people that made Munana, uh, the people that made Virgo vs. the Zodiac, which we played a couple months a year ago yeah. and enjoyed but never finished. And this one's about uh, rogue bonermen and cat witches and dogs. <laughs> so awaken. Are you dead? Or alive? Alive. No. You are a skeleton. What did they call you in life? Okay, so we get to pick our starting class. What do you want to be? So there's savage, shaman, scavenger, samurai, scientist, or stranger. I, I have a feeling that the savage is probably a, a barbarian brawler. Samurai is probably more like a knight. Shaman, I don't know. Maybe you'd have interesting magic. Scavenger, is that more like a rogue? Yeah. And then there's stranger who maybe is just an all-rounder. And then scientist. The scientist skeleton looks funny. What is that? Does he just have... One yeah, one single hair strand. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of uh, MC or not MC. Uh, whatever the uh, scientist was in Luigi's Mansion, he also had that like singular thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I kind of want to go stranger. It looks cute. I tried scavenger before I realized it wasn't recording, and then we I started. Mean, why over. don't we try scientist? Okay, scientist it is. Your miscalculations took out your own life and endless cycles of research. You never really understood where everything went wrong. You are a scientist. So you blew yourself up? As the last bubble pops from the boiling witch's cat's call wait, witch cats? Witch cat's cauldron, her experiment turns into success. You now walk among the living once again. Open your eyes. Wait, this is is that a cat? Yeah, witch cat. If they're a witch cat, but what? Look at that little hat. Yeah. So. It's tiny hat. Well, when you have that much more hair, maybe you don't need a big witchy hat. Yes. Another success. Except that you turned out a little skinnier than usual. You <sighs> bit my knee, but I don't feel the pain. Why am I awake? What? Why is this happening? Who are you? Hmm. Do not question me, servant. I am a cat witch. Witch cat for short. That's not shorter. Hmm. And by what name should I call you? I could be Protag. <laughs> Protag for protagonist. What would there a good go. scientist name be? Uh... Well, for some reason, the first thing that came, comes to mind is Manfred. Shouldn't you call yourself Dr. Manfred or Dr. Bones or Dr. Like, what, what would you want to be? Uh, let's see. There's a period, right? Or do eh. they not have periods? There is a period, but why use it? Actually, maybe they don't. I don't think they do. Give me a second. It's easier when I was on my computer, but ooh. What? What? Too big. They're enormous. Doctor Boobo. Wait. What would an? What would the double dots be? Doctor Boner. <laughs> <laughs> I highly dislike this name, as well as the rest of this organless existence. good time for personal crisis. Pickles must have let a dog out from their pit. <laughs> Low density doggo. Prepare to meet thy end, sack of bones. <laughs> <laughs> Do something, servant. That monster is rabid. Eternal hatred. 
Wait, what? It looks like a little Shiba Inu. Yeah, it's a cursed Shiba Inu. Cursed Shiba Inu. Go, my servant. Smack this buffoon back into the pits. But pay attention, or else the dirty ground that you once slept in will become your eternal bed again. Spooky. Do not hesitate. You're my creation. You might be smart enough to get through this. Okay. Bite, spook, chop. Nah, it's the same move list. Dr. Boner is biting. Sorry, Boner. I, I really like how he's pointing to the sky and he has a grimoire or a, a journal in his hand and everything. Yeah. Sometimes you'll have to wait for your marrow to grow back or else you can't attack. That's unreasonable. Hush, hush. You'll get used to it. Luckily, the dog is very patient. Spook. Is that a debuff? Or wait, it, it actually did a lot of damage. Wow. Did you use one of your own bones to smack him? I guess so. Dang it. That's a dodgy dog. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't do anything like this. Just gotta bite once. There we go. We cannot lock these spooks so easily, skeleton! Oof. Oof. May your descendants bring judgment to all cat crying. Oof. Ah, Piff. Uneducated dogs like that one sure love to make a mess. Now, where was I? Ah! You, servant. Go see if my dear Pickles has died or what. I need to craft a substitute for her, if that's the case. Who's Pickles anyway? I feel stupid. Oh, of course you do. Head to where that dog came from and put an end to them. I must make preparations for my beauty sleep now. And so begins Dr. Boner's epitaph. The babbling of which cat's fuzzy words drove you just a bit more mad. For every ant you step on, your blood boils at a, a bit more. But for now, pick up your bones and get ready for some spooking. There are tons of cats. What are all the cats New doing here? Broken bone. Nice. Interesting. When I play the scavenger, I got a shovel. All right. Boo. The doll fled in fear. Go check out the kitties. It's a merchant cat that hates us. Oh. No, oh, Violetta. I pity the full skeleton for attempting to communicate. Which cat forced me to sell you dusty equipment the doggos were carrying in their filthy mouths? Despicable. I'll take anything, miss. Despicable. Ask for supplies. Nothing for you. Go away. And we are poor. We don't even have a dollar. Are all the cats ladies? Prob- <sighs> uh. Hey, you, Scully. Call me Pickles. I shall be your guide today. Hello, Miss Lady. I was sent here by another cat. Where am I? Oh, you are far, far, far from the Citadel City. But there's a way to get there. What are you talking about? You must assist us with something. For that, you'll need to fight the doggos. I saw one right over there. The other cat lady told me it was your fault. Oh, that's where you come in, uh, friend. We cats were just minding our own business when feral monsters, the dogs, started attacking us day and night. Our strong harvests have caused their little brains to writhe in envy. They started to come out of their lands and into our fields. They dug from the underground, emerging in reverse holes. Reverse holes! And 
they took all our tomatoes. You should assist us. This is real sad, and I'm heartbroken, but... We still have candle candies left from Halloween. We have a deal. <laughs> Just find yourself the nearest pit and hop down their insidious tunnels. And bring back our tomatoes, so we'll get rid of our spare candies. I mean, <clears throat> reward you. Ah, yes. Take the manual. Read it if you want to learn. Something written on the grave. Horrible tunnel ahead. Caution is extremely advised. Once inside, you can't get out. We... Wait, but we didn't investigate everything, did we? Yeah, we did. I remember, I played a little bit of this demo before... It crashed? Well, it didn't crash. I just realized I hadn't been recording any of it. Ah. Uh, you find yourself in the strange tunnels made by these ins insipidus... Really insipidus? Yeah, I, yeah. I commented on that before looking over and realizing I wasn't recording that it was I, like, that is a word I've literally never seen anyone else use. Well, I, I've seen insipid, yeah. but I didn't know there was an us. Well, you can absolutely add us to make it into a... Mm -hmm. Insipidus dogs. Usually I just see you would say insipid dogs. Yeah, exactly, but I, it fits. It fits I mean, fine. It, it's just mm -hmm. I've literally never seen anyone use it. They appear recent and dug by both claw and shovel with some worn out pickaxes lying around. He was saying that actually. Oh. There's something written on this. If you're feeling like death is near again, try taking a turn to rest. You'll recover some bones in the process according to your survival stat. A grave equipped into your charm slot will provide you with a rest blessing. You can only rest once per battle. Okay, Boulder needs pickaxe. Uh oh. Bone moss. There's is an insipidus doggo. Bag bone moss. Let's see. Well, I don't have much to do. A low density doggo appears, isolated in thought. Fight. Spook. You know what's interesting about these backgrounds? They're so detailed, I'm wondering if they pixelated something that they had a painting painted or a more or... realistic. Yeah. yeah. Very possibly. Obtained remains and got a fragile pickaxe. Brittle boulder blocks your path. Hit it with a fragile pickaxe. Okay. So are they one use? The no, pickaxes? they look like it. Oh, they are. Uh huh. Yeah, it's fragile after all. We're gonna have to get them from more of the dogs. Witchcraft is fooling you. We only want all the bones to say where we bur buried them. Did did you say witchcraft? Oh, witch cat. <laughs> Witch cat. Wait. Chaotic werewolf approaches. Uh oh. Oh. Well, you get the spook. Nice. Well, that's interesting. So what? The dogs are saying that they're burying people, and the cats are well bringing them back. Possibly, yeah. Just want the bones to stay where we buried them, huh? Maybe it's even one of those that the dogs killed everyone. Mm. Mm -hmm. And don't want humans to walk again. No. Level two. Max bones plus one. Recovered six bones. Which god do you dedicate this level to? Wait, there are different gods? Spider goddess. Bat god. Whale goddess. Well, wait a minute. Let me look at the gods again. So speed and spite. What's spite? No idea. Soul and skill. And then strength and survival. So very far right is probably going to be about durability. The middle one is... Probably magic and abilities. Yeah, and then the one on the far left is probably about, yeah, agility. Well... Wait, you want to go strong? Well... I know that you love whales, but... Well... Oh, I can, I can just save whenever. Cool. Memory? Maybe we'll get I memories passes. from your past. Settings, equip, info. That's maybe useful. Uh, 
parameters. Oh, look at your look at your strength right now. They're pretty good. I just wish I knew what any of it did. I wish they showed you stats oh, for the different classes when you chose them. Did we? There we go. Use manual. Okay, stats. Okay, bones. Damage taken is dealt to bones. You die again if you lose all your bones. Marrow. You must sacrifice some marrow to attack. Use text or cast spells. You require certain stats to be able to use moves in battle, which are strength, damage and resistance to weapon attacks, skill, damage and resistance to text and counter attacks, soul, damage of blasts and resistance to all spells, spite, damage resistance to curses, speed, damage and healing by critical hits, turn order, Okay, so it also influences turn order. But damage and healing by hit of critical hits. Interesting. Survival. Bone recovery from blessings and items. So survival is actually for healing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Every stat may also have many hidden bonuses and unorthodox uses. Move description you yeah, move description in battle will point out which stats are used for damage and or healing. Good to know. Alright. Can you break any of the pots? Yeah. We do. Bone moss. Aha. Vandalism. You got a peeble. Oh! <laughs> Doggo's called for an enforcer. That. Watch it be someone's pet bulldog. Cop dog. Yeah. It could be. I, I'm certainly curious about the motivations behind this game, as this is like... I mean, maybe these are cat people. I I hope so. <laughs> okay, Syringe of Corrosion. Moves Death Wish, Needle Speed, or Curse, Corrode Spite. Well, we'll try everything to say. Wait, 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 wait but there was a... There was an odd item. See these odd items? What, this? Yeah. Oh. Something, yeah, there was a grave up, of up above. It was, uh, must have been a tutorial. Oh, well. Enemies will try to counterattack if hit by physical blows. Counterattack damage and resistance depend on your skill stat. Skill also boosts damage done by certain techniques. The spider goddess and the elk god will reward their followers with bonus skill. Ooh, I want to know more about these various animal gods. Because it sounds like they have a whole pantheon established. Also, there are so many dogs. And that one has an umbrella. <laughs> a regular dog and another dog carrying an umbrella are approaching. <laughs> oh, hey, you have Death Wish. That's a new ability. Mm. Raises strength and spite, but also takes increased damage. Ooh. Alternatively, Storm Woofer. Storm Woofer. So that's what you're doing. You're counterattacking there. Evasion up. Wait, it would take a little it? bit more animation, but okay. Well. I think things would be a little bit more dynamic if the models had a little bit of repetitive movement. Yeah, if they just swayed a little bit. Mm hmm I could see that. For the dogs, it could even be the eyes glimmering a little bit or their tongues panting. Can you use dodgy dogs? I can't hit anything. Mm-hmm. Seven. I spook. That got it. I just. Mhm. Mm he must wait. Dang. 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 Spook. I 
kick at it? Nope. No. But I can bite it. As long as it doesn't dodge again. There we go. Whoa, what was that? Did it explode in your face? It, maybe? Oh. Grave of Gust. Uh, or Pendulum. Wait, you can Blessing only choose one? Blessing Dance or... Uh, lets me blast Gust and also rest. I'm gonna go with that. Mm-hmm. Doesn't look like we've got any spells. All right. Werewolf has arrived. Heels. I wish you didn't have that down in the corner. Yeah. I... I get rid of it, but the video is probably almost, well, not almost done. Nah, nah. It's just that it's showing someone else's yeah, it's, it's the, the same game. Yeah, it's the developer's stream. Ah, I see. Interesting. Looks like they must have chosen the... Shum oh, no, the scavenger, scavenger now. character that you had. Yeah, they, they have just pre-recorded footage. Oof. I'm getting clobbered here. Mm, you haven't really... I, acquired much for healing skills. Well, or... I just got rest, but it only heals me for a little bit, and I've been having the worst time hitting enemies. Now, does the bone moss heal you? It does. Okay, but maybe... Oh, it dodged? No! Okay, that's good. But yeah, I just... I For whatever reason, my basic bite... Has a ninety percent, uh, ninety percent accuracy. Never hits. Maybe it's just because of physical attacks Heck being if I less know. effective against these guys. Because no, I don't think so. It did a ton of damage to him. Okay. Well. Yep. What? Bass, the skeletons are walking again! Then bury them harder! Your time will come soon, miserable skeleton. Cop Dog is extremely ready. Cop Dog. Gets this. Yeah, the reason why I wanted to go for the whale is to try and beef up my survival mm, stack. Oh. There is no point in resting. I mean, I guess there kind of is, but... Boy, it does not actually heal me much. It really just mitigates the damage. For level three. Level up. Max bones plus one and recovered eight bones. Which god do you... Ooh. So there's bear god, which is speed and strength. The owl goddess, soul and spite. The elk god, which is skill and survival. I'm kind of feeling bear or elk. What do you think? Let's go elk. We're going to keep investing in survival until I can rest back to full health between rounds. Ooh, you step into the magic circle and you recover nine bones. The magic circle dissipates. A doghouse. Uh oh. I. How do you heal? Damage from regular attacks is determined by your strength. Strength also helps withstand physical damage done by enemy attacks on you. But beware, enemy counterattacks will use your strength against you. Oh, the whale goddess and the bear god will reward their followers with bonus strength. How, how is a counterattack determined though? And where do you acquire another pick? Do you have to fight that last dog? I uh, yeah, I think no matter what, I have to fight the la that last dog. We're coming on up to the point where I'm probably just gonna die. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll be okay. <laughs> Regular dog and and umbrella dog. Now, what does the storm woofer have ability wise? That's uh, it can, can heal itself. 
Uh, let's see. It can heal itself and it can also... Uh, Absorb your vital energy. Yeah. So it's the stupid vamp dog. Well, that was pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Strength, strength. Oh, that does soul damage. I'll keep that in mind. What if it raises their umbrella? Oh, as a defense? Yeah, but still not enough. I'm even getting more coins and more loot. Widening Vitamin gum. Gum. Oh, permanently raises your survival by a point. Okay. No pickaxe, though, but we've got this ladder here. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. lay back up top. And oh, pickaxe. you found another pickaxe. Oh, I shouldn't have used all those healing items. Moldy? Oh. I don't know if this is him Moldy or... Moldy dust sits still below the cliffs. It's radiating a dense bone-chilling tingle every now and then. Okay. So they're on a massive plateau. Oh dear! Do you require anything else? I'm afraid that I most definitely need to take a nap right now. I left some juice in the cauldron, as usual. Go ask Pickles if you want any candies. She usually spends all day long guarding the entrance to the burrows. Or maybe tell Violetta to give you some of um something for your troubles. She'll surely understand. Oof. Okay, so we can buy bandages. Hmm. What what's the onk and the shack key? Oh maybe the shack key lets you into that shack. Probably. Shack of the Woods' Edge. Dull Dull West. Due West. Due West? Okay. Uh, let's see. Axe, which has leaf. Strength. There's also ignite. Ooh, fire. Yeah. But you can't well, afford much. Mainly, though, we have the ability to heal now. Question. If I go through this, do the enemies respawn? They do. They have respawned? Yeah. Oh. It's not terribly necessary, but this means we could level up if we wanted to. There's no point in grinding for... A demo. A yeah. demo. But <laughs> if I were to play this when it actually comes out... There we go. Let's see. I guess the one thing is, like, it would be nice to get the, the axe. Okay. Was this the stone that we were missing from last time? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Dedicate your newfound power to one of the six gods of the land. As such, your attributes will raise accordingly to which features the gods favor most. Even levels are dedicated to the un... un even levels are dedicated to the unearthed gods of the world above. Odd levels are dedicated to the unseen gods of the shaded places. Wait. The unseen gods and the unearthed gods? Ooh. I I like the idea behind this game. It seems like it actually has some kind of fun. I'm interested in seeing what more they have to the story. Is there just this ongoing feud between dogs and cats? Have all other animals been slain? If all of those other creatures are... I mean, maybe there are examples of those creatures alive, but... Why are there these other animal gods? And what's happened to humans? I mean, there's the weird dust that was pulsing weirdly. I I could absolutely see it that like the dog somehow became intelligent and just wiped out the humans. <laughs> and the cats are potentially unearthing people. That are humans brought about the inevitable extinction of practically every animal on Earth but their precious pets. And maybe the dogs became resentful? 
But the problem with that is... If only dogs and cats existed, there would be no herbivores or prey animals to provide them with sustenance. Yeah, well, for some reason, the cats have tomatoes, so... They do, which is so odd because... Cats I was reading literally up on cannot it. eat. They cannot digest plant matter. Yep. Whereas dogs can to an extent. Oh, they absolutely can. But cats can't at all. They are purely carnivorous. Okay. We'll just... We'll just fight these guys. Go heal. I was kind of hoping I could maybe get enough money to buy, like, the axe or the torch. Mm-hmm. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, whatever. I bit the wrong doggo. Because, yeah, bite... Just targets any... Uh, targets enemies randomly. Really? Yeah. Oh, you can't Shop is the it. one that I have to intentionally aim. Oh. It healed itself. Dang it. Rest. Rest in peace. Oh, those extra survival bits made a difference. Mm -hmm. Please kill Storm Buffer. The nah. counterattacks are just going to kill them both. Nope. Nope, dodged that time. Dang it. Dog it. <laughs> Doggone it. Oh, wow. Brought back a lot of health, but maybe that's just proportionate to how much health it has. I... This... This dag, man. This dag and dag. This is why I want to be able to set things on fire. Mm-hmm. So what, you needed 120 coins for that? <sighs> Something like that. I did get an umbrella. Oh. Maybe it's under equipment. Yeah, equip. Here we go. There's also the syringe of corrosion. It's true. The grave gust. Oh, I oh, see. Oh, that just gives us umbrella guard. Ah. Uh... does increase our soul. I, I'll grab it. Because our spook ability is soul based. Anyway, I guess let's let's heal. But then the whole area is going to reset. Or are yeah. you gonna go back down the ladder? We're gonna go back down the ladder instead of through the whole area. I just wanted to loop back through it again. Mm -hmm. Uh, grab some things. I mean, you know me. I'm presented with an RPG. I spend the first like couple hours grinding just because. <laughs> Oh, the coins also come back. Yeah, somebody left a lot of money on the ground. So if I really absolutely felt the desire to have that torch. Anyway. Step away from the utopia, leg walker. It's a werewolf. It, get, it gets the spook. Oh, no. Wait, it summoned another? It summoned friends. We are in trouble. Maybe be fine. We'll see. As a fortuitous dodge. All right. Ouch. And yeah, the main suck. Main issue is these suckers hurt. Fumes. Yeah, they can poison. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully, you don't remain poisoned outside of combat too. Nope. It's purely... Just during a battle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you dodged, thank goodness. So close. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Plus five marrow, what? Yeah, I put up the umbrella. Well, that's a good way to bring back your marrow. Aha! For attacks. Deflected the magic? Yeah, I deflected the, uh, okay. the stank. Uh, umbrellas are good. Our lady will avenge each and every one of us. You and your cat overlords will pay with blood. 
Hey, dude, I have none to offer. Level up. Ten bones. Okay. Oh, it's these three gods again. All right. Are you still going strength survival? Yeah, at least for now. I think uh, if we were to play the full version, I'd probably spec into other stuff and just grind to make up for the lack until I have the torch. Uh, but right now, survival is what determines how much that rest move heals us. Mm -hmm. Which means, you know, if I could get that to be a full heal every battle, that means a lot more adventuring without having to go back and heal. Oh, assimilate, assimilate the, the bones. bones. Oh. You collected new bones into your body. It looked like a person, but now there's a ghost. Woo. Is this the ghost of the person? The yeah, the ghost challenges you to a duel as opposed to a duel. All right. Spook. Spook ghost. Ooh, it's pyromancy. You see, I wonder if by you taking those bones, you upset the spirit. Wait, it, it put a reflect move? That's going to be terrible. It's bad, yes. So do you, should you use physical attacks against this thing? I, I should do. Ooh, burn. Nice. The ghost is in flames. It set the dag on fire. It's not, not a dog. Dag. It's, it's a, a ghost. ghost. Ghost in flames. Boner is biting. Okay. It doesn't have a mirror, but it will... It, yep. Yep. There, there we go. go. Woo-wee, that was a lot of experience Split and sweet. stuff. Scroll of fumes and dice of salt. And some homemade ribbons. Some of those have to be something. Spell? Ah, scroll of fumes. A stolen scroll contains a smoke spell transcripted. Curse, fumes, spirit, 25. Oh, so you got... Oh, you have three spell slots. So, we also have Blessing Sand Tower, Curse Salt Marsh... Nothing else. Uh, you need to heal, but... But we're also almost done. Something written on the grave. There are two schools of spells. Blasts and curses. Damage from blasts is determined by your soul, and damage from curses is based on spite. Soul also helps resisting all spell damage. Spite also lowers damage over time. So you're currently specking into soul, which is the blast variety? Yeah. So I guess we'd want to go spite. Oh, wait. No, I thought you said... If I want to set things on fire later. Oh. Getting a lot of these stat items. Mm-hmm. That's to heal up. Oh, who's that guy? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, someone with an instrument. A trombone? Boss gonna be happy that he found me here. That means I'll get to play around this, uh, play around town this weekend after all. Yes, yes, you're also invited. All skeletons welcome. Tell your friends too. Ooh. Left behind some food for thought. Also, Grilled are you gonna absorb bone. those bones? Or, no, you can't reach I can't, them. I can't reach them. All right. Ooh, is that the elk god? Place of worship. It's a shrine to the elk god of earth and dust. Set checkpoint? Yes. Yeah, remember. Worship. The elk teaches you skill and survival. You've already received the elk's blessing. Offer? Oh. Offer eight remains to the elk statue in exchange for a dust tone? Sure. Yeah, the tome of erosion. Okay, blast erosion soul. Well, Let's give this a shot. We've got to be about to fight a boss, maybe. No, that's just that one. Where are my spells? Yeah, where are your spells? Hmm? Are they not slotted in properly? Or... 
Oh, I think these are your abilities that are slotted. I don't think you ever slotted your new oh, stuff in. Oh, maybe there was like a check mark next to them. Well, I deleted that dog. Oh, but now there's another. And then there's the cop dog. Well, the bonus soul definitely helps. Pretty good. Yeah, because I noticed that there was a skill bar up top. Ooh, you got more. So, gonna go elk god again, or bear, or owl. Because you can keep pumping into skill and survival, or you can start doing more magic with the owl goddess. Let's keep going skill and survival, because... Can you look at your skills, though? Because I, I am curious. See up there? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Those are your fight. What's the passives? I don't have any. Oh. Memory? No. Let me check. Can you look at your spells and stuff? They're equipped. Have okay. they perhaps not been implemented? Maybe. Otherwise, read manual. Equipment. Magic. Sacrifice remains to the primordial god shrines to receive a random spell book. Spells come in a variety of elements, respective to a god or goddess. Equip spell books to use their spells, if you match the stat requirements. There are two types of spells, blasts and curses. Blasts often deal instant damage or may alter stats. Curses deal delayed damage over time or may hinder performance in other ways. You can equip spell books through the equip submenu. So be mindful as to their stat requirements. So what are their stat requirements? Oh, let's learn about the gods. Did you see that? I did. I will say though, this has been going on for a little while. Oh, so, but I want to know about the gods. I know. So okay. what do you need? Do you need soul 22? Yeah, and then 25. Yeah, so it looks like everything has a limitation. Mm, so you're not even using everything to their full capacity. That's fine. Okay. So maybe grinding is encouraged in this then. I absolutely. I, they even advertise that this is supposed to be like really hard. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm just curious about the gods. Shrines. Oh, look at this. Every element resists itself and is strong against the next. Other element relationships result in neutral damage. Every foe is also bound to one of these elements, resisting and receiving additional damage according to their source. All physical damage is naturally scrap, which is neutral, but several abilities and passives will let you modify which element your regular attacks do. So can I see what they're... So the elk is dust, which is earth. And The then whale we, is rain. Yeah, the whale is rain, so water. Spider is null. Bear is scrap. Uh, and then owl is smoke. So maybe shadow or yeah. fire? No, fire. Fire. Owl is fire, and then bat is noise? Yep. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna... Take a peek at oh, this. The inner tunnels smell far more ancient, likely predating the upper areas by many years. You see cobblestone pathways and walls with several finer tools made of bronze and iron. Clearly dissonant with the rudimentary, rudimentary. Rudimentary. Oh, it looks like an A. Yeah, I know. The rudimentary work of the dogs above. Yeah, automentary wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't be a sound. Speed is added to your moves priority values to determine who goes first. Crits also count your speed as a damaging factor. Bat God and Bear God will reward with bonus speed. Okay. So I think this is just another adventure zone. No boss. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just leave us here. This game seems neat. It's got a lot of shops. It's obviously kind of tough. And uh, boy... It, I, if I were to play this as like a full series, I'd probably grind like crazy. 
to the point where I can just kind of plow through things with super soul man powers. Oh, what, yeah. What are your parameters and what are your... Look at that what you have right now. That's very different from what you started with. Yeah, because I started investing more in soul because I'm using that soul blast over and over and over again. But look at this. You're still only at 13 and some of those items that you acquired call for level, t what, 22, yep. 25? Yeah, they still gave like a basic move that didn't have a requirement. Uh, not the spells, but all the other equipment. Mm -hmm. But to actually get the good stuff, we're going to have to invest. It just seems that between all of the gods and their blessings and getting a new blessing at every level, it's an interesting way to... Uh, Customize yeah. yourself. And mm -hmm. I think if you know what you're looking for, or if you find a really good spell book early on, you can absolutely but kind you of build yourself, yourself around it. being something ridiculous. Which I actually really like. That sounds really cool. This reminds me of a game I played a long time ago called Knights of Tartarus, which had similar-ish mechanics in terms of building yourself and so on and so forth. And it's like, I dig these turn-based RPGs that really break the mold in terms of like character growth and itemization. Because, you know, in most games, you go to the new town, you find the new items, you blow a bunch of money, you upgrade your stuff, you adventure for a while, you open a chest, you find the slightly better sword, you equip that. It only does slightly better numbers and doesn't have any interesting effects. And it's just kind of very cut and dry. And this feels so much more just like, what is going on? And I like that, that, you know, the mechanics aren't just immediately just like right there in your face. I'd like to see more of it. But for now, at least, this is a good stopping point for us because this is still a demo. Game's nowhere close to done, as far as I know. I, it'll be out sometime in the next couple of months, to my knowledge. Uh, so I, I was just we'll hoping that we'd finish the first dungeon. It, remember, we had the same problem with uh, Virgo versus the Zodiac. Mm. And we have 100 games to get through, Shell. Oh, if right. we go at this pace where we finish absolutely everything, we're going to get through about 20. So, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, well, uh, hit subscribe because we've got a ton of random indie games to check out. Well, we wait for Osteoblast to come out. So, till then, thanks for watching. See you next time.